Okay, welcome back to another installment of your semi-annual weekly videos from DIY Garage TX. They're not so much. Anyways, so this uh, project I've been talking about it for a while and I'm finally getting started on it. Um, the S10 is loaded up on the trailer. It's ready to go to the body shop. The Mustang is finally inside, and as you can see, we got it up on stands. Everything is stripped out of it that's in the way. We're ready to install the 25.5 cage kit that came from Wolf Racecraft. For anybody following along that had never seen it's a pretty involved uh, installation, and the car has to be just dead, empty, no wires, hoses, insulation, interior, nothing. So uh, we're getting ready to unwrap this stuff and get started on it. I don't know if you can tell or not how high we got the car up in the air. It sure makes it easy to work on. Got the Monster uh, Oil Derrick Jack stands uh, off of Amazon. Somebody had asked me about them uh, in a different video, so I'll post a link to that uh, in the description below down here somewhere. So I guess now it's time to uh, stop talking and actually do some work, so here we go. Okay, hopefully the air conditioner and the TV and all that mess isn't too terribly loud, but as you can see, I got the funny car part of the cage out of the car. That's how it comes from Wolf. It's pretty much tacked together and you just have to do all the welding on it. There's so much welding, I'm not even gonna show all of it, but I'll show some of it and we'll get some close-ups of it, check it out and see how it turned out. So I'll go ahead and get started on that right now. Okay, I think that pretty much concludes the welding on the funny car part of it. Uh, obviously, I've edited it way down, but there's a good two or three hours worth of work there. Um, so the next step, while this cools down, I'm going to go ahead and cut the slots in the floor for the subframe connectors and get those fitted so that we can tack them in place and then we set this part on top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to that. That's kind of a beating, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, now it's time to get started on the on the subframe connectors. I've already done the driver's side. I didn't record it yet. Um, I wanted to refine my process and uh, make sure that I did it right before I recorded it and showed everybody else how to do it or how I did it. So the subframe connectors are straight. They're just two by two tubing that goes from front to back but you have to cut a slot in the floor for them to fit up into the car. And then there's an outrigger in the front that goes from the rocker panel to the subframe connector, and then there's one in the back. And that's where the bars actually mount to it. So uh, I'm gonna get started on that. We'll record some of that, and uh, it will go to the next step. Okay, so I do my own little modification to the subframe connectors. It's not in the instructions, and I'm kind of surprised that it's not, but in any event, the subframe connectors, the front subframe and the rear subframe don't, are not in a straight line with each other. So what I do is I just cut a slot in the subframe connector through three sides of it. In other words, not all the way through it. Flip it all the way over and then cut another slot in it. Um, one at 28 inches from one end, one at 32. So it allows the connector to have a, a slant to it and uh, gets closer to lining the front to the rear uh, still not perfect but a lot better and this is what it ends up looking like right here um, it's not very much offset right through here but it makes a big difference so I'm gonna go ahead and mark the floor get it cut and uh, get this thing ready to go in all right we are dangerously close to getting the subframe connectors tacked in place um, this is by far the hardest part of the job is getting these things fitted correctly and height and position right and all that stuff so I'm gonna get into the car go ahead and tack this one in place and we're gonna tack the back in place and then the middle piece in place and we'll be ready to put the first part of the cage in all right well here comes the fun part uh, this is where you learn how to be an octopus Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, well that's a wrap for this video. As you can see, we got the, the back bar tacked in place, the down bars are tacked in place. Uh, that's quite a bit to get done in one day, you know, cutting the notches for the subframe connectors and all that jazz. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, next video we'll pick up with tacking the bars in place, the rest of the bars in place, um, and then how we knock it down to the floor so we can weld everything on the top and then kind of go from there. So. Thanks again, everybody, for stopping by. I sure appreciate it. Uh, as usual, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, and do all that neat stuff. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks.